Hey, welcome back to Hostify. My name is Alex, and today we're looking at Unify version 7.4.156. This version was released to release candidate last week, and it's been in testing ever since. And it just today it was released to GA. So I've updated my Hostify controller to that new version, and we're going to run through a few of the top features just now. So one of the main features is the improvement to the guest hotspot portal. So I'm going to come down to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and I've got a guest SSID here. So if I have a look at the hotspot portal tab, so far that's already enabled, and we've got this new hotspot portal, hotspot manager on the left-hand side now. So you can see a list of guests, it'll tell you, once you've got guest clients connected, it'll tell you how much data they've used out of their package, if there is one, um, how long they've been connected for. It's a bit easier to get to than the previous filters we saw in the clients tab. There's a new landing page uh, maker, so you can see there's a new Ubiquiti logo in there, and we can go ahead and upload our own background images. We can go and upload new uh, logos. We can set the authentication, and this is a bit bit easier to get to than it previously was. So we can say radius. We can do Facebook Wi-Fi, uh, which is pretty good. External portal servers. Uh, there's a lot of settings in there. Previous to how very similar to how it was before. Next feature is for people that have unified gateways, the UXG Pro or UD UDMSC, that sort of thing. Uh, it's going to come down to VPN. And VPN server, there is now open VPN server option. Uh, so in addition to WireGuard and L2TP, the UXG Pro and other devices can actually now be an open VPN server. So you basically have said that running your open VPN or WireGuard is much less CPU intensive than running L2TP, so it should be a bit more stable and also faster. My UXG Pro is in my test network, so it's behind my main network. Uh, it's actually it's obviously got a NAT IP for its one IP, but the the controllers noticed that and said this may cause some problems, which is quite a nice, a nice uh, bit of information for people that might not be too sure. There's also a big change to the way the VLANs are untagged on switches. So, in previous versions of Unify, we have like port profiles. We've now got port uh, sort of traffic restrictions and setting the primary network that way. So, if I come down to port three on my switch here, the primary network tab or the drop down is how you untag VLANs, and then to not tag VLANs or tag VLANs, you have to do traffic restrictions. So if I want to just untag VLAN 501 for example and then not have any other VLANs tagged, do block all and then untag 501 and that is just allowing 501 to be untagged on that port. If I want to do untag 501 and also tag VLAN 3 for example, that's what you do there. You set a traffic restriction to allow and that's it's a little bit different to how it, how it used to be. Definitely a lot different to how Edge Switch and Cisco switches do VLANs, um, and also the UISP switches as well. But it's it makes sense once you get your head around it, and it is probably easier for people that are new to networking, which is the main point. There's a brand new feature that's coming to Unify OS consoles and the UXG Pro once Unify OS version 3.1 is out. It's currently in beta in the early access program, so you can't actually use it just yet, but you can actually override the network that a Wi-Fi client is connected to. So it, I guess it untags a VLAN just for that, that device, so I can't actually show that feature just yet, but you can go into a client's tab on the right hand side and you can say uh, Wi-Fi override and it will actually change the VLAN that that client's on, which is quite useful for IoT devices, for, for example. Uh, so you don't have to go into that device, change the whole SSID it's actually connected to. You can do it all from the dashboard. It just changes the VLAN that device is on, which is really, really good. Next feature is the traffic map. So this feature was available on previous using versions of Unify. Uh, for some reason, it got removed. Um, but it's now back. Um, it seems to give you a nice way to view what traffic's coming from where, and you can go ahead and block it in the manage country restrictions. Now, I haven't got much traffic on this network on the U on this UXG Pro just yet, um, but judging by what information I've got here, it tells you what traffic, how much of it's coming from what countries, and you can go ahead and block it if you need to. The last feature is the connectivity uh, tab under the Insights Wi-Fi Insights, so you can ha have a look at what clients are doing the best on the network so what health state they're in you can look at the DHCP response time for the gateway I'll put a screenshot in of my main network um, for my main devices that have got some data on there uh, but this is this hasn't got any clients on it just yet but it does give you an overview of what information you should get so right through from server to clients you can see exactly what kind of experience the clients on the network are having uh, you can break it down for the last 30 minutes one hour six hours uh, 12 hours so it's quite a nice uh, a nice feature. So that's been a look at Unify version 7.4.156. Check out our written blog post. 
hostify.com forward slash blog. You can learn about all the features. There's lots of screenshots showing you all the new features within this version. While this version Unify is GA as of today, uh, we are going through a testing process on our servers to make sure that there aren't any weird bugs. Because even though Ubiquiti has released this to GA, it doesn't mean that it is fully stable. So in the next few weeks and a few months, this version will come out. Check out our Twitter profile, hostify underscore net, to get the latest information. If you want to learn more about Hostify and what we do, check out Hostify.com. We do TP-Link, Amada Hosting, Unify, and UISP Hosting. We have Hostify Pro, our professional consulting services. That's Hostify.com forward slash pro. Check out the website and hire an expert today to help you with whatever you're working on. If you've got any support and queries related to Hostify servers and Ubiquiti devices, contact our team at support at Hostify.com and one of the team will get back to you as soon as they can. To stay updated with the videos we produce, don't forget to subscribe to Hostify and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>